Hi guys, Dane here, and today is an exciting day. So, this is going to be like a special haul, but also some of this footage is going to be in my monthly haul. So if you're watching this in my monthly haul, click the link below to see the full thing. Uh, I've received two very exciting packages. Uh, we're going to start with this one, because I know what this one is. It's a big old one. This is uh, basically through my... Actually, it was through my Instagram, funnily enough, but... Um, I was contacted by the publisher of this book and they asked if I'd be interested in receiving a copy to either do a giveaway or post about it on Instagram. And as much as I love you guys, this is too nice to give away. This has like instantly become the crown of my collection. So this is by SP Books and this is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. And it's in this slipcase. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at this. And then we take it out of the slipcase. And what have we got inside? So, I just want to be very gentle with this. SP Books, Editions de Sans Pair, uh, all the way from uh, from Paris. What have we got here? Uh, cool, yeah. 1,000 copies of this limited edition have been printed on Fedrigoni Avori pa Avorio paper. This book bears the number. It does actually just have a dash of 1,000. We have an editor's note. And then, basically... It's the handwritten manuscript of Frankenstein, but then with the little, you know, additions and subtractions that uh, both Mary Shelley and Percy Shelley both put in. So you can see, for example, over here on this one, you can see where the lines have been sort of crossed out and new bits have been added. And it's just this beautiful artifact. Look at it. And they do a bunch of different uh, books as well. So um, I was offered a choice of some of them. Some of the other ones they do, like they have Dracula as well, which looked fa uh, fantastic. Okay, here we go. In the same collection, we have uh, J'accuse by Emile Zola. Uh, Le, Bi Le Bible Historial by Guillaume de Moulin. The Great Gatsby, F. Scott Fitzgerald. We have some Jean Cocteau, Marcel Pagnol. Uh, Al Cools by Guillaume Apollinaire. Jules Verne, La Tour de Monde on 80 jours. <laughs> I, was, I was doing well and then I realised I have no idea what 80 is in French. And it's just a number here, so I can't try and pronounce it. We've got Jane Eyre, Charlotte Bronte. Uh, some more uh, Jean Cocteau, actually. Victor Hugo, Notre Dame de Paris. Gustave Flaubert, Madame Bovary. Uh, Alice Adventures Underground by Lewis Carroll. Some Proust, Baudelaire, Voltaire, Jules Verne. Yeah, loads of just... You know, big hitters there. And as I say, they also have Dracula, which I thought looked cool as well. They are quite expensive. That's the only thing. But, I mean, you're paying for quality. You know what I mean? So I'll link below to where you can learn more about these books. And, uh, yeah, this has instantly become pretty much the, the highlight of my collection. You know, I can't wait to actually get some decent shelves up so I can... So I can display it properly. I could get the two editions of Frankenstein. So there's like the published text and then Mary Shelley's original text as well, isn't there? And I could get both of these, those, and then read those alongside this and sort of see the evolution of it. It's just beautiful. And you can see, if I hold it close up, you can probably see the quality of the, uh, the binding there. Beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, that is uh, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley from SP Books. Thank you very much for sending that to me. And as I say, I will link to that below. And then this is something else I was sent as well. I'll hold it this way around so you can't see the sender's name or address. But this is from Time for Books, who has a fantastic YouTube channel. I'll link to her channel below. She's one of my favorite uh, booktubers. She reads such a wide variety of stuff. She joins me and Todd for our monthly indie read along. She reads a little bit of horror here and there. Oh, she does some great collections as well. I mean, she's a big thrifter and also a collector. So uh, if you like to see like collections of you know, the same kinds of books, definitely check out her channel. Just check out her channel anyway, it's great. And uh, she, basically because it was my birthday recently, she asked me if she could have my address to send me something, so I gave her my address. I have no idea what this is. It is a parcel inside a parcel. I can show you this one, because this one doesn't have an address on it. And this is bubble wrapped, and I don't know what it is, but it, it looks awesome. I mean, it's going to be a book of some kind, I imagine. Ooh, let's see. What are these? I can already see they're like beautiful hardbacks. Ooh, okay. So this here, this is sealed as well. Uh, this is Bare Bones, Conversations on Terror with Stephen King. Tim Underwood and Chuck Miller are the editors of this. 
So, uh, yeah. They smell nice as well. So it's a beautiful little hardback. Well, it's got some bookmarks in it as well, look. And then it does have some writing in it, which I don't even know what that says. Cool, so it's like a bunch of different interviews and stuff. That's actually really fascinating. Oh, here we go. Uh, this series of interviews was conducted from 1979 through 1987. Textual inconsistencies are inherent in such material, and due to copyright restrictions, there is occasional duplication of content. Good, so there'll be some cool writing insights in this, I should, uh, I should hope. Cool little bookmarks as well, the flamingos. Look at all the flamingos. And then we have Paul Jenkins, Curiosity, uh, a redemptive myth for a mythless age. Clearly Paul Jenkins is a pseudonym for Lewis Carroll collaborating with Douglas Adams. That's cool because that's a quote from Mike Carey, who is also M.R. Carey, who wrote um, The Girl With All The Gifts that was cracking. Uh, I actually watched the movie of it recently. The, the book was better though. Um, and there's, he's also written The Boy On The Bridge. I actually interviewed him ages ago when I first started my book blog. I did a telephone interview with him. So that's cool. And uh, there's this little card here. Happy birthday. I live at the bottom of a hill and people just go crazy driving up there. And also it's a really dangerous hill. Someone was coming down like that the other day and crashed into the, the corner of the... Anyway, happy birthday. Or no, happy birth yay. <laughs> Uh, another year older, you're wearing it well. If it wasn't your birthday, then no one could tell. Happy birthday, Dane. We have this little handwritten note as well. Uh, hey, Dane, I hope you are well. It is woefully late for your birthday. What date are we on? Yeah, it's over a month ago, but it's fine. <laughs> but I hope you enjoy these two books. Both reminded me of your reading taste. The Stephen King was an easy choice. As for the other book, the blurbs made me think you might enjoy it. Hopefully it'll be your first... Dollar Tree book. Yeah, because she goes like thrifting at Dollar Tree and we don't have Dollar Tree in, in the UK. I'll have to send her some charity shop books and they could be her first charity shop books. Best wishes, your friend, time for books. She's put her name here as well, but I don't know whether I'm supposed to publicly reveal that or not. So I'm not going to do that. But yeah, that's awesome. Well, I mean, like I say, just literally just picking that up, that, that quote from uh, M.R. Carey immediately makes me think this is going to be good. Plus, I mean, Curiosity is a decent enough title, isn't it? I'll read you the blurb of this one. I think the, the Stephen King is uh, relatively self-explanatory. This guy's actually British as well. Paul Jenkins is a British-born comic writer who lives in Atlanta, Georgia. He began his career at Mirage Studios working on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I used to love that. Okay, so the blurb. Will Morgan is a creature of habit, a low-budget insurance detective who walks to and from work with the flow of one-way traffic. For Will, imagination is a thing of the distant past. When a job opportunity enters the picture in the form of the mysterious Mr. Dinsdale, curator of the slightly less than impressive Curiosity Museum, Will reluctantly accepts the task of finding a missing box of levity, the opposite of gravity. I like that. That's very Terry Pratchett. What he soon learns, however, is that there is another world out there, a world of magic we can see only by learning to unlook at things. And in this world, there are people who want to close the Curiosity Museum down. With the help of his eccentric new girlfriend, Lucy, Will will do everything he can to deliver on his promise to help Mr. Dinsdale keep the Curiosity Museum in business. Now that his eyes have been opened, he'll stop at nothing to keep the magic alive. A cross between Neil Gaiman's fantasy and Isabel Allende's magical realism, Curiosity is Paul Jenkins' impressive debut novel. Exciting, fast-paced and uncanny. A must-read. Wow, these do actually both sound awesome. That's super cool. Thank you very much. So yeah. There we have it, that's uh, it for this little special little haul video. Like I say, go down below and you can check out the links for the Mary Shelley Frankenstein and also look at the other titles they have. You can go and subscribe to Time for Books as well. In the meantime, thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot, bye bye.